So this box seems damaged. I hope it's not. You know, um, this transmitter cost me twenty dollars. That's what I paid for it. Maybe a little less. Maybe like eighteen. But uh, and it seems like they just wrapped a bag around its packaging, and it's definitely hit. I don't know. box is all banged up. So this is the Lenore. It doesn't say Lenore anyway. Um, a lot of companies make this. I ordered it in black. It better be black. It better be black in there. It shows white here. It better be black. Oh. Oh. Better be black, otherwise it's gonna stand out in the car. It's gonna look like shit. Oh, cool! It's black. Remote. Why the hell do you need a remote? All right, I'll figure it out. I mean, how lazy can you possibly be to need a remote from something that's arm's distance away from you? So yeah, it's black, thank god. Wow, it seems to have a nice weight to it. No damage, but look at this box, it's a mess. I don't know, I don't know Amazon, sometimes, you know, nice, very nice. I don't know how well the light is, I like using natural light. to the car and see what this baby is about. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the car, obviously. And here is the Lenoux FM Bluetooth FM transmitter. So you can see it's very slick. I like I like the design. Um, it's not obnoxious, it doesn't have all these buttons sticking out. It's very nice and slick, very nice design. And it's also pretty well built. You can feel it. It's nice and solid. Um, I already hooked up the Bluetooth. That's very easy, you know. It basically does it itself. Um, yeah, it's very quick. So, yeah, there's the aux in, uh, USB in, or a thumb drive or something, I don't know, some music. And there is your uh, SD car slot. Luckily, this fits perfectly in this car. This happens to be a 2008 Subaru. Um, so it fits perfectly here. I like it. Um, so you just put it in and there you go. You adjust the, the neck to your desire. <laughs> like I said, this is well built. That's the first thing I noticed when I picked it up. And in this car, at least, it blends in nicely. The color scheme is nice. I mean, it's a dark gray. How can you go wrong with that? I, I've seen other ones out there that have these really obnoxious bright blue. Um, the only thing nah, that I don't like about this is, here I'll show you when I start it. This light on the bottom, I don't know why they put it there. It's, it distracts me. I don't know if you heard that sound. It makes a little doo -doo 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 when it turns on. That light bothers me. So, yeah, as soon as you put your keys in, the ignition, and you start, 
it's a automatically paired up. It never loses the, you know, it memorizes the station you have programmed it to. In this case, it's 88.7. And of course, you put 88.7 on the, uh, on the stereo. Yeah. 88.7. And that's it. The static is gone. And it reads here, BT67. It recognizes it. So that's cool. Um, yeah. 88.7. 88.7. Right. 8.7. That's all you have to do to pair it up. Find a dead station. Uh, that's the, actually I noticed the more static on the dead station, the better the connection. Don't know why, but that's what I saw. So keep that in mind, at least for me. I forgot to talk about the um, the remote a little. Completely forgot about it. Anyway. Um, what this has, which is pretty cool, it has an equalizer right there. I don't know if you can see it well there. It's just equalizer. Um, that's pretty cool. I think it's uh, three presets, like rock, jazz, blue. I don't know. It has three presets. Uh, you could adjust the volume up and down. Um, you could change the station as well, the frequency. Um, but I really don't find much use for it, to be honest. You could change like the station, the frequency quicker from here, like 88.1, whatever. But really, I, I still don't see much of a purpose to it. Maybe with the SD cards, you know, it says folder here, folder. But still, you could do... I guess what this might be good for is if you have like an annoying uh, backseat passenger, you're just like, you know what, here, you take it. Leave me alone. I can see that. But other than that, mm, not much use for it. Okay, camera's down. Put on the phone. Now, what I like about this is also, I don't know if they all do this, but um, it remembers what song you were listening to last. So all you do is, you know, like that. <laughs> I don't know how well the microphone and the camera picks it up, but it, it is a crystal clear sound. It's got a nice bass. I hope I don't get a copyright strike. <laughs> Probably not. So yeah, it sounds really nice. And also what I like is uh, the hands-free calling is, is pretty damn good. Better than I expected. All you do is press this green button with the phone. So I don't know how loud it is. And you're talking on the phone, and then you just hang up. Same green button. It's very simple. Not so many buttons. That's cool. Um, another thing I like is communication with Siri. <laughs> when you have the phone plugged in to the charging, Siri understands you, if, if you could believe that. <laughs> Siri understands you pretty well. You ask for directions, you hear it through the speakers perfectly. Um, you ask, you know, to make a phone call. It makes a phone call. Oh, and the incoming calls, 
it lets you know which number is calling. So that's that's pretty cool as well. It doesn't give you the name of the person, um, but it tells you the number, you know, nah, blah blah. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. So there, there you go. You got a taste of it. Um, what else can I say? I really don't know what else I can say. It's all in all a very good uh, Bluetooth. Oh yeah, the most important thing I forgot to say. <laughs> For me at least. I bought another, uh, another transmitter which had good sound, had actually very good sound as well. But it didn't have the um, audio in, or the aux in, rather. Turns out this aux in is output. It's not input. And the way they made it sound in the description is, you know, plug in MP3 players, this and that. They made this whole thing about the auxiliary port, and yeah, turns out it's for headphones and external speakers. I don't know. It's an it's an output output though, which makes no sense. This one has an aux in, and I have an old MP3 player with thousands of songs and playlists, so I could just plug it in my old iPod, hit the play button and I'm good to go for thousands of songs. <laughs> so yeah, that's a big plus. Yeah, like I said, the only thing, but this is me being nitpicky, the only thing I don't like about this is that annoying light it says charger. It really annoys me. Uh, I'm very picky when it comes to aesthetics. I didn't have to be there. But yeah, buy it. <laughs> Alright. Later. You make the change.